I've been getting a lot of questions lately from uh, women asking how they can lose weight and fat and gain a bigger butt and lean muscle at the same time. So they've been watching my videos uh, that I've been advocating mostly for the thinner females on how to get a bigger butt and they also want a bigger butt too. If you're trying, to, if you're already larger, it's impossible. You can't shrink and get larger at the same time. It doesn't make any sense. My videos show uh, I'm advocating heavy weights on deadlifts and squats to get a bigger butt. This is true, you can do this, but if you're already large and you're trying to do this, you're gonna get thicker legs, you're gonna get a thicker, you're gonna get thicker everywhere, not just in your butt, everywhere. So it's not good for you. So, depending on which body shape you are, most females know about the different body shapes. If you're apple, you store most of your weight in your upper body, breast, waist, and uh, arms. You're not gonna be able to get a really, you're not gonna really be able to get a larger butt because you don't store any mass in your lower body, really. So for you, it's gonna be hard to get a lower, um, a bigger butt. Really, you just have to go for a toned frame overall. This video is more for the pairs and the rectangles and tubes that are overweight. So pairs are overweight in the lower body and they need to work on shrinking down their waist and that will make their butt appear larger. Yes, their hip is going to shrink too, but their waist is going to shrink more than their hip is going to shrink or their butt size is going to shrink. So it's good actually in this case. So your butt will appear larger by having a smaller waist. And this is all about the waist hip ratio study that kind of went over in my uh, Hollywood video versus uh, fitness model video if you want to watch that uh, waist hip ratio study. So you're still going to want to do the squats and the deadlifts with medium weight though, not heavy. Medium weight. You want to increase the reps. You can do isolation workouts like this girl here is right here on this cable machine here. Also hip thrusts and bridges, other isolation butt workouts will, will work very well for females that are trying to uh, lose weight. So that will give you that shape. You're still going to have to do the cardio, running, dance classes, anything that's going to get your heart going, uh, plyometrics limited rest while you're doing these exercises so you burn the most amount of uh, energy or fat off uh, sweating you need to sweat this fat off very important that you're sweating during these workouts you're still going to want to work your upper body though don't focus on the lower body push-ups dumbbell um, workouts are going to be very beneficial for toning your whole body now you gotta it's very important that you keep a good diet you gotta stop eating a lot of that processed foods the sweets the cakes the cookies all that stuff um, as well as extra fats. You want to cut that stuff out. You want to keep it nice and basic, your meals. You want to even try to eat more meals out of the day, but smaller. To try to fa fasten or quicken your metabolism. Cardio workout, 60 to 90 minutes. Longer if you need to lose more, 80 to 90 minutes. You, want to com you can also combine your cardio with your weight training. So your weight training is 45 to 60 minutes, two days a week if you do it separately. If you combine with your cardio, then you're looking at a 45 minute cardio workout and a 45 minute weight training. Order doesn't matter there. So you want to keep yourself hydrated through both weight training and cardio workouts. Now there are different shaped bodies. You're going to look differently at toned. So here's a pair, here's what a pair would look like toned. Here's what a rectangle too would look like toned. Of course, rectangles differ in size. So you know some rectangles have larger bust sizes or and hip sizes, but overall they're even throughout. You can just see how she was even. This is a toned apple. So they're more thicker in their upper body. Obviously, you can see. Here's another toned apple. And so you just got to be aware of what goals you're trying to set. Everybody can't be an hourglass. Every female can't be an hourglass. Only 9% of females are hourglasses. Here's a toned hourglass. So you got to know what you're looking, what, what goal you have and what your body can get based upon what your body composition is. Apple, pear, hourglass, rectangle, tube. So you got to know how your body is storing your mass. And you know, just by looking in the mirror, you know where, where your mass is. And you, that, then you just look for the goal that you want and try to attain that. Don't try to get something or try to fantasize about obtaining a body that you can't really obtain. A toned body is good looking regardless of which body composition you have. So that's what something that females have to understand. It's not just one body type.